awkward. to your fish whether it eats it or not that's another question but it's just next level stuff Right out there, 50 or 60 feet. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, <boy. laughs> oh. Big Joey! Oh. Oh. There we go! Oh. How cool was that? I'm using the Abu Revo Beast. They got 14 kilo of drag. Now this is my favourite rod because it's the 7 foot 11, 15 to 30 pound. Cast some big rubbers and doing this sort of stuff, it's perfect. Oh, God, they go hard. Oh, yeah. Do banger, do banger. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Alright buddy. Yeah. That was cool. Ah. Oh, that's a big chewy. <laughs> it's so <laughs> awkward. Bro, I'm oh. on. I'm on. <laughs> Hang on. Anyway, as you can see. <laughs> what? Corpus is on. Yo, yo. Oh, bro. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> sitting out there. Commas. Oh, the cameraman. <laughs> that whole time. <laughs> Corpus didn't want to bring his vibe out of the water. <laughs> You. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is how cool this is, you know, using Rob Payne um, arm for the active transducer. Got it on forward scan, so wherever I point this, it is literally scanning out the 80 feet. So just pan it around till you see the fish <laughs> on the transducer. Uh, okay, there we go. Got a couple specking out wide. But that's what we're doing. This is it's so cool. It's the future. Help. 
What's the lure of choice, Mr. Salty? Don't even bring him in, bro. Switch him straight. That's it. Grab his towel. Give him a kick down, bro. <laughs> oh, we don't like you. See you, Mr. Jew. Bye bye, Jew Beach. That's the outfit of choice. Abu Revo Beast. They got 14 kilo drag, big gearbox, 50 pound suffix. You know, just such a powerful, fun outfit to use. You can really stick it to them on a um, overhead. Moving around a fair bit, eh? 40 feet that way. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. There's actually a baseball out here, bro. 30 feet. 30 feet. Straight that way. So you can clearly see the bait school, and then there's obviously big Jewies and Goldies just working their way around it. Oh, look like went through the bait school. Oh, look at him behind it. He's behind it. Oh, come on. See that? Oh, that was that bait school too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Go first. Oh my God. <laughs> That is so cool. <laughs> Come on, bro. Go, go. That's a double hook up. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is so cool. Honestly. See that though, right? <laughs> I just can't talk. <laughs> so, the beauty of active target while you're stationary, like this school of Dewey's is moving around us. You know, we're on, we haven't moved, we're on spot lock. And I've literally used it on forward scan to find where they are, and you pitch your cast. In that, in that example, had a ball of bait. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see him working the ball of bait. Excuse me, sir. No worries, sir. No. Oh, oh dude. Look at the look at the Dewey underneath us. Look at that. Oh, dude. Go. Check it out. Gulp down the throat. Big two boys. Oh, Come on. Oh. Seven inch jerk shad. Two ounce nitro. Jig head. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Hang in. Hang in, Dobbins. He's too big. <laughs> He's hand eye coordinated, this fella. Roll him up. Look at that. Big. Jimmy. Alright, bro. Just steer him straight back in over here. Get him? Yep. Yes. Go. See you, Joey. Hurry! Down there, 30 feet. See him sitting in the gutter? Mm. Oh, spooked him, you motherfucker. Huh? Spooked him. Here he comes. How's that? You spooked him. Spotted him sitting on the gutter. We were slow trolling, seen him sitting there, come back to him. And he was there, but I spooked him with the with the vibe. Alright, if you look in the center of the screen, uh, it's at 60 feet, that is a big bar. Oh, look, I marked him with the side imaging. Anyway, we've pulled up with the Minn Kota. He's sitting right on the edge of a gutter out wide, so I have Dipron. See if we can get him to chew. Now we want to make sure you're always up current. Worst thing you want to do is drag the lure over the fish and then spook him. Well, this is the beauty of active. We are watching live exactly how this fish is going to react, what it does. So if it's if we spook it like the last nice fish that um, we seen and parked up on I spooked at first cast with a vibe so that's why we've gone over to you know a prawn just gonna see how these fish react to your different lures all right we had two cracking fish sitting in front of us and I was grubbing a prawn really slow across the bottom and the fish was only sitting about 15 feet in front with the active. And you just knew that the fish was looking at my prawn. I worked, worked it ever so slowly, but I had got the lifeless knock or even just bump something and then set the hook. We watched it on the active. You can see it's a fish. Could be, or could be either a big groper or a really big bar. If it's a bar, I reckon I've foul hooked him. Either way, it's big. <laughs> it's big. Come on. Come on, give us colour. Coming up. Oh, oh, big fucking groper. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that, folks. God damn it. <laughs> Lucky you can still give it to him. Okay. Oh, he's got 